What are you doing, little carnivore? You hungry? You already had breakfast. Twice. Time. It's Saturday. It's a nice day. You're going to be in the high 80s. It's about 11 o'clock. I just got this drop off. Four pair of scissors. That's like a roofer's axe. That's what I call it. I don't know what it is. And a pair of uh, hedge trimmers. Old babies. Since true temper number 19. You put the Gurry effect on them, they'll be okay. The Gurry effect. No hurry, a couple days, she said. I don't know what Tim's at his market. I don't have a market today. I did uh, finally get to go ahead to sharpen knives at the local brand new tractor supply store on Sundays, starting the Sunday before Memorial Day through the into the fall. I'm gonna have to switch Williams and Sonoma around. Or either alternate between the two. We'll find out more about that soon. Should be a pretty good gig. Stand by. Well, I dropped Chris off with her friend. Now I'm at a yard sale. I was hoping they'd have some knives or something, but they didn't have anything, just jewelry. I bought two books, Wildflowers at a Glance, and The Backyard Bird Lover's Guide for Chris, so she can watch her birds. They had some knives, but they were Chinese knives. But they did have some really nice, old, collector-type cameras. Not that I know anything about cameras, but man, they had more old cameras I've ever seen in my life. The old box kind, the pump spring-loaded looking kind. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Everything's 25 cent. 25 cent. I can't believe it. I haven't found anything yet for a quarter. Look at all the people parked on the side of the road. <laughs> They're going to the beach. I think I told you this before, but in this part of the community, the city owns 10 feet of everybody's driveway or front yard. So when it gets summertime, people park all along the street. This guy filled in his 10 feet with oyster shells so he wouldn't mess up his yard. Nobody else has ever done that before. All these people are going to the beach. Look at them. This whole street here is loaded. Look at them. These two vacant lots are full. Oh my God. They haven't ventured down this far yet. <laughs> Stand by, I'm home. Nine eggs. We have guests eating with us. Chris's brother-in-law, his wife. Jack says, I like nine eggs. Some for me. Some for me. Almost. Almost, boys. Carnivore. Well, it's Sunday morning at about 11.30. I'm sitting in a parking lot of Costco in Norfolk. Waiting to pick up some knives from my fella. 
returning customer said I sharpened them two years ago. I don't remember him, so I'll have to wait and see what they look like. Stand by, we have due to meet in about 10 minutes. Well, I got the knives. I think there's two or three small ones in the bottom. We'll get a better look at them when we get home. I just got a text from my buddy Rich. He told me that uh, somebody found two really nice killer rings in the dry sand yesterday with a bounty hunter. We have a we have what they call college college weekend down here. There's like forty thousand uh, African American students on the beach for the whole. I think it's the three or four day weekend thing. There's lots of people on the beach. Some bullets are flying. I think got four shot last night. I don't know uh, about the rings so I'll get home, but I'm going to take a look on Karen's page when I get there. And I'll add them to this post so we can see them. He said they were not really, really nice rings. I'll get back to you. Well, I got them out of the wrappers. I didn't realize they were all uh, carbon steel knives. Every one of them. Well, I ain't positive about this one, but it looks like it is. This is a... This is a fun I've never seen before, called Forgecraft. This is a uh, Robeson. This one, this one, and this one are Ontario. Old hickories, they call them on the handles. Very cool old carbon knives. I'm going to clean them up over here, I think. I don't think I'll have to put my uh, 3M wheel on. I may, though, because i got to do those other things, the yard stuff. And those scissors. We'll see how it goes. Well, the first two turn out as I expected, pretty good under the sisal wheel. Put a compound on it, heavy grit compound. I'm sure the others will be the same way. All I gotta do is buff them up a little bit on the polishing wheel, and they'll be perfect. This little black one right here. Let's see how it's going to do. I haven't put any brush. See, that's going to clean up nice, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Here's just surface tarnish on them. He uses these. He's a these are his daily knives. Some people still use carbon knives. Okay. I'll get back to you. Now for the more stubborn items. We use this. This is the uh, Texas, the Gary O. Texas Magic Wand. If I can find the right thing to put on it. This one's getting wore down bad. I may start with that. I'm going to replace it. This is a new one. It did a pretty good job on the hatchet. That was the roughest thing that condition-wise. And it did, uh, got most of the stuff off the hedge trimmers. Let's stick this new one on now and see how it does. Norton, rapid strip. Fine taquito right here. Well, they all cleaned up nice. No name on that one. Oh, hell yeah, it is. A savage deer. I didn't see it till just now. <laughs> How about that? Savage deer. That's a nice ticket. Cleaned up nice taquitos. One more, maybe two more passes. We'll be finished with this bad boy.
doorbell rang. Anyway, the hatchet, or whatever this thing is, turned out nice, of course. Cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't do the 100% Gary effect on it, but enough to get it. And I did a 98% Gary effect on these. I didn't take them back to brand new metal, but pretty much. The Gurry effect. Ontario's forged saboteur turn out nice. I knew they would. Forged carbon knives really turn out nice. Okay, that's all the stuff. I gotta go to a funeral. One of our detective buddies' wife had a stroke. I think went at dinner Thursday, and it was fatal. She died the next morning. We're going to the service. Me and Low Tide Tim and the girls. I'll see you. man we both missed the race projections he he took Hamlin and uh, Harvick and I took Johnson and Chase Elliott we both failed maybe we won't do too bad in the land of Nana tomorrow <laughs>